right, vacation cruises aren't just about surf, sun, and those huge buffets. Uh, they're also offering passengers a whole host of high-tech activities. Joining us now via Skype from Toronto, syndicated technology writer Mark Saltzman. So, Mark, you and your family went on this very cool Disney Dream cruise. It was a media junket where a lot of media types and tech gurus such as yourself were on board to kind of get the story of what Disney and the Dream are offering. So. What was the most remarkable thing about this uh, cruise ship? It's not just about vacations, is it? That's right. There are a number of amazing uh, pieces of high tech on board, uh, including, uh, we'll start with the magical portholes. If you have a stateroom, uh, an interior stateroom, so your cabin does not have a, a balcony, oh. <laughs> then you have a magical porthole. It looks like a window to the sea, but in fact, it's a real-time HD view, a high-definition view uh -huh. from uh, one of the four cameras that is on this ship. And not only is that impressive in and of itself, because it looks so real, but you also have animated Disney characters floating in, <laughs> like, you know, the house from Up, carried by balloons, or Mickey oh, Mouse uh, stopping cute. by to say hello, and then when it's time to go to bed, you just turn it off. Oh, so I was going to say, great, how are you going to get uh, your kids uh, to go to bed? Technology. They're going to want to watch that all night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Disney, exactly. You don't want to go to sleep. It's the oh, well, happiest place on earth, right? Oh, right. And then, of course, there was the kids club on board where, you know what, these kids are tech savvy. So your three-year-olds, your six-year-olds, 12-year-olds, they, too, want to get involved in all this technology. And it's right there right. on the ship for them. Along with animation stations where you can learn how to animate and computers with yeah. Disney games, they had this huge interactive dance floor with 16 different games and activities kids can play using their body. So kids would line the outside of this dance floor and partake in a game such as one based on the movie Tron or one based on Princess and the Frog. And using your feet or your hands, you compete against the other kids and play games while getting physical at the same time. Oh so my, my kids gosh. really enjoyed that. I bet. This is looking like sensory overload, too. But that's what it's like <laughs> when you go to Disney World, isn't it? So you, there's also, Indeed. I guess when you're walking down the hallways or in any of the rooms, there's high-tech artwork as well. Um, what was that like? Yeah. Are you talking beyond like so the HD screens that you showed earlier? Oh, oh yeah, sort of. So Disney calls these enchanted, uh, enchanted artwork. Basically, they look like still paintings. If you walked by it, you wouldn't even look twice at it. However, if you stand in front of these paintings in, uh, in some of the staircases, you'll see the images come to life. They begin to animate before your eyes. And in fact, there's also a game kids can partake in. It's sort of a detective game where you hold up a card with a barcode on it and you solve a mystery. You have to go through the different decks on this ship and there's uh, 12 to go through and uh, you know it's really amazing how uh, you know if, in case you don't want to spend time outdoors <laughs> there's lots of stuff to do even in between the floors okay and of course you're out at sea which means you know an occasional sighting of Nemo or something like that <laughs> tell me how that worked at dinner time <laughs> this was my favorite. So in the animator's palette, which is one of the three dining lounges on this ship, they had these huge TV screens all throughout uh, the, the restaurant on the walls. So while you're eating, you'll have a, uh, it looks like when, it, when there's no characters on screen, it looks like an underwater screensaver. But then maybe Crush from Finding Nemo, the, the turtle with the California surfer accent, <laughs> will come over and he'll interact with guests in an unscripted environment. So he'll, he might look at my son and say, yo, little dude, what's your name? And you can talk with Crush, Aww. and he'll swim around and talk to different tables and talk to them about where they're from, and it's all unscripted, and my kids thought it was just magical. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I could see how none of the kids ever want to get off this ship, um, but what about for you, the adults, you know, did you feel like uh, you got a lot out of this too, or was it really about seeing your kids enjoy every moment? Yeah, well, that was it. If I had a chance to, they wanted to go to the kids' club a lot, so I might have had an hour to myself every night. My wife had a staycation, so I took <laughs> the three by myself. Woo, that was but great. there's even high-tech in the adult lounges. There's a bar that has different um, cityscapes of different ci of cities. So uh, in one moment, you're looking at uh, Rio de Janeiro behind the, the bar, uh -huh. and then 10 minutes later, it's Chicago. You see a different skyline every few minutes. Oh, wow. and a drink featured from that city. So even the adults got a little taste of technology on board the Disney Dream. All right, that's why, that's why they call it the Dream, right? Okay, so tell me about this <laughs> aqueduct, you know, water ride. Was that something that you got involved in? Something that, you know, the big people and the little kids, too? The big kids and the little kids yes, could all so equally this, enjoy? <laughs> exactly. Now, this might 
not be an example of high tech, but it would be <laughs> remiss not to mention the aqueduct. This is the world's first uh, on cruise water coaster. So you are actually, you go up to the top floor, the top deck, and you get on board this water, this roller coaster on a raft, if you will. And not only does it uh, go around the perimeter of the ship, but it oh even goes God. outside over <gasps> the water, 150 feet high. So you go out about 12 to 15 feet inside of this uh, trans parent tube and it's really a lot of fun for for kids and uh, kids at heart so let me guess were you using one of those Sony uh, waterproof cameras that uh, video cameras to shoot all this that you uh, showed us a few months back that's right yeah, that's I right I, if, I, I, <laughs> I think you're looking at video footage yeah. of uh, Disney's own video footage but yes I brought one of those uh, Kodak PlaySport cameras to, to video uh, oh, Kodak, to record it from it a first yeah. person perspective as well you got it good yeah, memory because Patrica. of you I have one of those too now <laughs> it's very fun okay so now um, you know this kind of interactive technology that you're seeing on the dream I mean it's Disney it's fantastic but do you see that this is something that's gonna find its way on other cruise ships in restaurants malls etc other big venues yes there's a lot of exciting developments when it comes to technology in public places. Uh, there's an Israeli company called, called Conceptic that has developed a, a touchscreen restaurant menu. They call it an e-menu. So at your table, uh, it's touch sensitive. You pick what you want to order, oh and you can even you know select different sides and and uh, you know if you have any allergies. So instead of you know getting a, a waitress or a waiter on a bad day, you're interacting with technology. There's um, uh, in, say, in, in the, the U.S. and Canada, the there's a, work there. a Park called Great Wolf Lodge, <laughs> uh -huh. which is an in, in, inside and outside water park. You get a little wristband with RFID technology, radio frequency identifi identification mm. tags. So instead of carrying around a wallet or keys, this wow. one little bracelet, which is waterproof, gets you into your room. Oh, it's that too lets much. you buy things in the shop or order food. So all this is, is this is changing hotels. There's Microsoft Surface technology in lots of Four Seasons. Gosh. Where you use your fingertips instead of a concierge. Well, because of you, Mark, and because of Disney, now I don't think anybody's going to look at their family vacation um, the same ever again. They're going to want to do exactly what you just did on board that Disney dream. Thanks so much for bringing that to us and yeah. working and vacationing all at the same time. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Frederica. All right, Mark. All right, it's a harsh reality.